Less than 10% of indigenous children in Mexico and Guatemala finish primary school. Many end up on the streets selling handicrafts. Because of a lack of support and discrimination against their language and appearance, they're at risk of illiteracy, unemployment and poverty. It's a huge issue to be indigenous, uh, especially for young people. Uh, Guatemala is a country that has carried on a big uh, fight between indigenous and non-indigenous population. Uh, people four years ago were persecuted, were killed just for being indigenous. Up to now, this has been a neglected problem. But one project is trying to make a difference. The Linguist Jovenes initiative encourages students at urban schools to make short movies and animated films reflecting their own culture. Working together using new technologies, the teens from mixed backgrounds create powerful messages about cultural diversity and tolerance. Our main goal is to uh, maintain them more years in the basic education, and the second is uh, to promote the survival of indigenous languages in a in a peaceful environment. The idea is to encourage dialogue among students who wouldn't normally interact. A professional filmmaker helps them to get the best out of the movie-making tools in mobile phones. I briefly explained to them how to build an image with good elements, good lighting and other technical things without making them feel it's too technical. I supervise them so they make a story that flows. Twice a week they meet up to make films, exchange experiences and ideas, and learn about each other's communities. Maybe we don't know each other well, but we're getting into it, and I like to work with them because of the companionship. We give an idea, someone gives another idea, we put them together and something beautiful comes out. No one says, it has to be this way. No one gives orders. More than 12,000 teenagers in Mexico and Guatemala have already participated in the project. The results are impressive. In the schools where the program has been run, the dropout rate has fallen by 67%, while incidents of violence in schools have also plunged dramatically.